Hello and welcome to another episode of Tonewise Productions. Today we're here with the Cachalote console preamp. All right, before we get going today, please like and subscribe to the channel. Helps out a bunch uh, to grow and keep doing what I love doing. All right, getting right into it, and I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Uh, this was given to me by a friend to demo out, and it's been really, really cool. Uh, the company's name, as I said before, I believe is Cachalote. Um, this is a console preamp. Uh, it's their own original design, but it really gives me the kind of vibe of that going straight into the console sound you'd see from Beatles recordings, as we saw at the beginning, kind of a take on Helter Skelter, or uh, maybe another brick in the wall, some print stuff. But uh, that really direct, really clean, but then really fuzzy in a really unique way kind of sound when you really push that gain up. Uh, really, really cool pedal. Let's get into it. First, here's my clean tone. And it's my Silver Sky going into my Two Rock Custom Reverb. And that's it. Uh, and then going out into the Ox Box. So first we're gonna start off here running this flat and then with very little gain, um, just kind of as a buffer boost kind of situation. We'll bring the volume up a little bit there. A little bit of hair on the top end. So here's that. And you can hear how it breaks up a little bit there on the top end, those high E, high B areas. Uh, and that's just with very little gain running into it right now. So let's crank the preamp up and we'll use it as a boost for a minute. So great sound. Really brings out that top end, like I said before. Uh, let's dial the volume back now, bring the gain up on this, and this is where the cool stuff starts to really happen with this. The gain's on this awesome little slider right here. So let's bring it up, uh, I don't know, about halfway. We'll see where we're at there. <laughs> So you see it really gets kind of sputtery. Got a lot of hair on the top end. Can be kind of bright with the bridge pickup I found, but all in context, it works really well. Um, just really, really cool sound. Let's bring the gain up even higher. This guitar may feed back a little bit. Uh, we will edit that out in post for everybody. <laughs> Really, really cool. Kind of a uh, Velcro-y kind of sound going on with it. 
Uh, we're going to switch this now from the flat EQ section that we have right now to what they call the console input. And the console input you can see on the curve kind of shelves the mid range and boosts that high end and that low end, giving you more of that direct to console sound, even using an amp. So here we go. We got it set up right here. We'll bring the gain back to about halfway and you'll see how it, it it's tough to explain, but you, you, you'll know it when you hear it. Uh, it's a very direct kind of sound. <laughs> That's kind of where you heard it in the intro of the song there. That's very much that overloaded console kind of sound that like the Beatles got off those Neve recordings, really pushing the front end of that console. It's the same kind of vibe here. Uh, very distinctive kind of breakup, little Velcro-y, a little spitty, uh, a very, very cool sound. Uh, it's just great. <laughs> And it's very dynamic to pick attack too, I find. It's not until you really start to dig in there that you really start seeing that fuzzy sound. I'll bring that game back up again in this console setting. Higher gain settings, the pick attack adjustment is, you know, it's not quite as dynamic now because we're compressing the signal down a bit. Really, really fun sound. All right, we're gonna switch over to humbuckers now and hear it with that. All right, we're gonna take a look with humbuckers now. And this is much the same setup. This is my PRS uh, hollow body special. Uh, we'll just hear how that sounds. Going into the two rock again, clean first. <laughs> Now what we have this set in is it's a separate EQ setting that's just a shelf on the low end. Um, this is the third of the options. There's also a different input impedance selection here, whether you're doing a line level or an instrument level. We're just keeping to the instrument level for this because we're just running guitars. Um, also, you can hear in the previous demo in the beginning, this was used on the bass as well. In the flat setting, it does work great on bass. Breaks up very much the same way. Uh, the frequency range works really well for that as well. Um, yeah, so here we go. This is using the low shelf. You can hear how we're rolling off some of that low end there, tightening things up, which works really well in some heavier riffs. We'll bring the gain up on this now just to kind of try that out. <laughs>
yeah, really good to kind of tighten things up in that aspect. Really, really fun pedal overall. Really glad to try this out and try a new company. I'd never heard of these guys before and they're making really cool stuff. Um, their fuzz looks excellent as well. I'm hoping to get my hands on that to try it out soon as well. Uh, but yeah, it's been a quick run through. Uh, Till next time, this has been Tonewise Productions. We'll catch you out there.